Hi, welcome to Monterey's Cooking. I'm John Pisto, and boy, have I got a surprise guest for you today. And I'm so happy to have Michael here. <laughs> Folks, let me introduce you to Michael Bolton, one of the greatest, greatest singers and one of the nicest guys I've ever met. Michael, thank, thank you very it's much. always sure. a pleasure sure to meet you pleasure. here in, in Monterey. He's, he's here for the AT&T, and uh, we're lucky enough to get him to come down here. He never says no. You're really, really a sport, Michael. Oh, you're, you, you really spoil are. us here, sir. It's my well, pleasure. I'm going to put know? some weight on you, though, man. You're I, looking I appreciate a little it. Bit. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. <laughs> You know, Michael, <laughs> one of his favorite records that he has, or CDs that he has, is is the one that he does with uh, uh, opera. And I tell you, if you don't know about this man singing opera, you should really pick this up. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, I feel humbled even presenting this to people because you know what? The this new head has... of marketing for Michael <laughs> Bolton right here, John Pista, everyone. <laughs> but Michael, you, we put this on, people cry. I mean, they cry. Some beautiful it, it uh, brings, and beautiful pieces it on there. Brings French, tears. Italian. Yeah. Thank you very much. It's, I tell you, it's just incredible, and it's all good crying. It's not sad. It's and it's joyous. You know, it's yeah, just. But you're an artist that. Uh, but I sing better after you feed me. Oh my. Okay. So you know, that's <laughs> that's just the way it is. We were up in Las Vegas watching Michael perform at the Mandalay, uh, and we start talking about food. And uh, Michael likes is a vegetarian, and he is looking for protein and vegetables. Mm -hmm. So I did a little researching for you, and I found soy being the highest. Okay. And so what I've done is I put some uh, recipes together for you to, that you can make very easily, or your girlfriend, and it's real nutritious. I mean, it's the real <laughs> stuff. I mean. Mm -hmm. I haven't tasted it yet, but I, I think it should be okay. I trust you okay. with okay. Uh, but my life. Michael also said he loves pizza and he can't get it because you know he doesn't know how to make it. And I said, you know what? I'm making pizza like this for a few years now, and it's so easy. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you. Okay. Very important now, for a vegetarian to have plenty of pizza. And it's going to be vegetarian pizza. Mm -hmm. Now this is very hot, Michael. Now this okay. is a stovetop grill. Okay. Uh, if you don't have one, I'll get you one. So this is what I, you, you said you were concerned about the sauce, right? Yes. Okay. Um, it's very, so very important. So what I've got right? ultimately is chopped mm -hmm. onion and chopped mm -hmm. fresh garlic. Mm -hmm. okay, you like garlic, right? Love garlic. Okay, great. Okay, then we got whole chopped tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Okay, we put them in there and we mash them up. Whoop. See, that looks good just the way it is. We don't even well, need the pizza. Though. this is, I mean, you put, a, you put uh, some <laughs> vodka in here, it'll be pretty good, too. <laughs> <laughs> a little vodka, and it's, it's all good. Now we're going to add some salt and some black pepper and some oil. And I'm using extra virgin olive oil. You're into the oils, I'm sure, the mm -hmm. extra virgin. Now's the time extra to use How the do you best. Know? How do, you know How do I know? You just know it's, it's, it's extra virgin. No, you can look on the bottle, mm -hmm. and, and you'll see it'll say extra virgin. This happens to be from Sicily. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's the best, right? Well, this is pretty good stuff. Yeah. Okay, this is what we're going to do. It looks we're good. We're going to add some looks oil. Looks like the real thing. That's some oregano that I grow. See, smell. Yeah. Strong stuff. Yeah, that's oregano. Make sure that's oregano and not the other stuff. Well... Now we got the sauce. Okay. Right. Want to taste? Sure. Now it's got to be on the sweet side. I like that. Mm. Okay. I want more. Good, huh? Oh, it's good just the yeah. way it is. Okay. Yeah. Now, now mm -hmm. you can go and buy these. Now somebody said you buy these in uh, Trader Joe's. They have them. Okay. Yeah, Trader Joe's. Sure. So, Okay, so what we're going to do, now watch this. If you like, I'll have you, you think you want to try this? Oh, it's a... Uh, sure. You want it? I mean, you don't have to. No, you show me how. And okay, I'm this sure is how you're going to do it. You're going to go like this, mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. I think the Three Stooges did that once. <laughs> Somebody got hurt. <laughs> okay, so when you keep playing it, it gets like this. And when it's ready, I'm going to go like this. 
Okay. Right. The dough on the bottom. Yeah, and it's okay. This is freeform pizza. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be perfect. Right. Okay. That's so good. what you do is just get it, and you go like this, and you go like this, mm -hmm. and you go like this, and like this. Now what is it? Is there a name for that? Is that like kneading uh, or something? Or just, I don't know. It's called poking it with your fingers. It's called stretching the dough. Stretching the dough. Stretching the dough. That's good if you're on a budget. It's stretching okay. the dough. Okay. Get in there. Oh, okay. You want to stretch the dough? Go ahead. Let's have some fun. Hands clean? Absolutely. Fantastic. Stretching the dough. Now what you want to do is make it go out. Extend it, yeah. Huh? Oh, it doesn't want to do it. How come it looks so easy when well, you do it? Well, because... Uh, is this is what you do? Well, you toughen Try the, singing you for me. Tough, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, you gotta give, me, go, give, hey, me I'll, a, give me a high C. Hey, I'll clear this room so fast. <laughs> Ain't the dog will run. <laughs> hey, it's working. Come on, stretch, nice. will you, dog? Well, you know what? Okay, look, watch this now, Michael. Yeah. Okay, this side is done, look. Mm -hmm. Nice, huh? Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna do this. Now, I can, if, I, if I get moving on this, I can make See, that looks so good already. Yeah. I mean, you know how simple, the, look how as simple. As long as I'm not doing the dough for you, okay. you'll, you'll be able to make hundreds. Well, you know, you take your time, give a glass mm -hmm. of wine. Mm -hmm. You got a lovely, lovely lady here. Mm -hmm. You can share a bottle of wine, make, make pizza Lots at home. All, yeah. You know, that's, that's fun. Mm -hmm. And uh, friends come over, make pizza for them. Okay, yeah. this is Reggiano Parmigiano. It's already grated. Uh, oh, that looks so good. Someone want to get the dog, please? Alfie. The dog wants pizza. Too. Everybody wants pizza. The He's dog Italian. wants pizza. Eats the dog pasta. is a vegetarian, by no, the way. He eats pasta. He's Italian. He does, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put it over there. Wow, that looks so good already. And then we're going to put, what else are we going to put? You like hot pepper? I don't, but no you can pepper. put some no, on no. there. Because, no, you're you know. going to eat this. All right. But you can put hot pepper on there. Okay, I'll put just a little bit like this. Put on one, uh, I okay. okay, just That's a touch. Good. You want to put a little black? The, uh, Let's drizzle some oil on it now. Drizzle and some oil? What else do we have to put on there? We'll you just want some make of this? an easy one. Yeah, go ahead, just drizzle back and forth. Drizzle? Mm -hmm. Tell me whether I'm drizzling or, yeah, not, drizzle or pouring good. it on. Good. Is That's that all right? Good. That's drizzle. Okay. Oh, the mozzarella. Oil drizzling. Way. Very good at that. Good, good, good job on the drizzle. Mm -hmm. So look, you see this? And you know what? You want it to be a little burnt because it's gonna pick up the flavor like right. it's been in a pizza oven. You know? Right, like a brick oven. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What do you think, it's hard or what? That looks so good. I might need to take a break and just eat this real quick. We'll be back. No. By the way, we're gonna to have to take a break. <laughs> and, when, and when we come back, this will be gone and we'll make another one. <laughs> but- uh, That looks so good. Stay with us. This is, this, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna, we got some nice stuff to show you. Pete, we'll be right back with Michael Bolton. Greatest singer in the world, folks. Just amazing. Thank you. You got it. Uh, if you're just joining us, we got Michael Bolton, and we're making pizza, grilled pizzas. Okay, real simple. You wanted to learn how to make pizza, I'm showing you how to make a simple pizza at home. Anytime you need one, you got it. I mean, it's fast. I, I need a lot of pizza. Well, here you are. Okay, you are gonna try to get this and put it over here now. Okay. Okay. I'm just Good gonna. Luck. I'm gonna throw it from here. No, no. It's gonna stay right. Right. It's all ready to go. Right. It's ready. Perfect. All right. Here we go. Okay. Ready? Yep. Nice. Good. Nobody got hurt yet. Good. Okay. Here and here. See, this cooks very fast. So as long as I make pizza at home and you come over and fix it for me, <laughs> I'll be able to make pizza at home. That's Michael, how it works. I mean, my daughter called me up. And says, Dad, I'm coming home with some friends. Can you get us something to eat? And she had about, I said, sure, what do you need, honey? She goes, we're about 12 kids. Me. I said, okay, I'll make you guys pizza. So I start making these shells, right? Mm -hmm. Then I get this oven going and I put them in a sheet pan. I cook six at a time. I mean, I can knock them out nothing flat. Perfect party father. Yeah. That's, what, you're, that, that's what we're here for. That's, that's take it. care of them.
your kids. Make are sure the party this. goes on. I'm going to send these over to your kids. And they're going to like them. These, yeah. Oh, this for the this for the and pizza. the show. This way they can make pizza for Excellent. you. Excellent. Excellent. Fire in my house. <laughs> nice. So, Michael, you're working on a new album, I understand, huh? I am. Yep. I am. Almost done. Yeah. Wow. Fresh and new, fresh new CD. With, and what's it called? Uh, we don't have a title for it yet. Okay. I'm working with a lot of uh, the new young guns, uh, ah. Neo, the artist Neo, and mm -hmm. uh, Lady Gaga, who's got a number one record around the world, and wow. a bunch of new writer producers, and um, it's an exciting, exciting record. So, so far as the Sinatra and, and following that. Uh, well, that's part of our show. We'll, we do the big band. We do big band music. That's we do great. we do R and B, pop, rock and roll, all you know about twenty hits through the through the night. You know, uh, that show was amazing. And, uh, yeah, we've got a lot the, of music everybody knows. You know what? The range, but you do, you do from blues and you play tremendous blues guitar. Thank you very much. And and uh, doing the opera. And then, <laughs> I mean, all I mean, you're just. I mean, you're all you, around. You are talent. the new senior vice president of promotion for Michael Bolton Enterprise. I can do it. You're hired. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, now we're going to flip it. Oh, that looks great. Doesn't that look good? Yeah. And crispy you know, you, and you want the crisp in there. Careful. And careful the little, there. the little. Whoa! Right. It's very hot. Yeah. So now we're going to put this on it. Mm -hmm. And this has got the oil in it already. Right, so now, what do you call this pizza? The, these are just called, you know, homemade pizzas. Homemade I, mean, pizza. I mean, I don't name them at all. I mean, mm -hmm. who wants this? Who wants that? Who, it's like a pizza margarita. Oh uh, yeah. Well, this is a it's it's tomato and cheese. Just, this is just a this is just a plain pizza, a cheese pizza. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna do a mozzarella pizza. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is the the burrata. You ever taste the burrata? I don't know if I've had it. Okay. Burrata. Look. I mean, look at this stuff. I mean, feel that. It's like an egg. Whoa. Oh, wait. It's, you see it's, that? It's got milk in it. Yeah, it does. I know. The children could be raised yeah. on that. <laughs> but what we're going to do is just cut this up a little bit. And this is a type of mozzarella, but super fresh. And Mario, we need some basil, please. Now, if you were an anchovy guy, mm -hmm. I'd put some anchovy in here, but it you know, reminded be me strong. when the milk came out. You know, it reminded me that my mother never breastfed me. Did you know that? No, I didn't she know said that. she just wanted to be friends. <laughs> Girls like that. Girls like that one. Wow. <laughs> that's cute. It's that's true. That's cute, Michael. Just okay. Wanted to be friends. The little. <laughs> okay. Okay. Maybe that'll stay in. Maybe I don't know. All right. So now it's <laughs> okay. Then we put a little cheese. Okay. And now we're gonna put a little so breadcrumb. Fresh, fresh mozzarella. Yeah. Right? And a little breadcrumb, toasted breadcrumbs, taste them. Mm -hmm. A lot of flavor there. Remember mm. we were talking Punchy. about toasted? Because of the texture. Yeah. It's a nice, okay. well, that's delicious. Put, yeah, isn't that good? Mm-hmm. Okay. And there's another mm. pizza. Yummy. And that, what are you putting on this? What is this? That, this uh, the cheese? And this is uh, breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs. And this is and basil. Basil. And now basil, give, fresh give, basil. Give it a couple shots with the oil. Mm-hmm. And this it one's almost very, ready. very good at this. Is that enough? Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Okay. okay. How's that? Now, how easy is that? Simple. Too easy. That's it's impossible. It's, it's, <laughs> I mean, it's simple. It is. Okay. Oh, that's great. So, here we are. We got two, two vegetarian pizzas. All right. We'll be right back. Stay with us. and I have the great privilege and honor to be at the whaling station tonight. We have a wonderful group of people down here enjoying John's marvelous food. Speaking of which, here he is, the maestro himself. I'm so impressed with you. <laughs> you know, right. You're doing a great job. I mean, that's amazing. Well, I love huh? to eat and I love to watch you cook. Yeah, so. but you do it very good. Okay, anyway, we're, this is here. This is uh, AT&T. Which one is it? 
they, I, whatever, I don't know how many, but it's 1909, uh, 09, 2009, 2009, and it's, uh, yeah, we're having a little dinner, we just finished taping Michael Bolton at the house, a food show, which was great, and so we're having a little dinner with some friends, yeah. So we're going to just go around the table, and we're going to just say hi and introduce a few of the people. This is Lynn Swan, I don't think Lynn needs a whole lot of introduction, but we were cooking earlier yes. tonight in John's house, and, and now we get to taste some of the wonderful food at the whaling station. It's terrific. Say hi. Thank you for all your wonderful work and great Super Bowl, by the way. Oh. Congratulations. Yeah, for the Steelers, they, they did very well, but you know, you and I have to get together. Because, you know, I, I, I took actually some cooking classes from a guy named Ferdinand Metz, who oh, ran the yeah. Culinary oh, Institute yeah. of America. And he was the... Uh, I uh, head of the Heinz Experimental Kitchen for a number of years, so I took cooking classes from him when he was at Heinz. Now, you know, I've, I've gotten a little rusty, but you know, I, I still make a pretty good chicken Kiev and a few year, things John, like that. Next year we need Lynn Swan on your show. Lynn, you look thin. You didn't teach you that well, man. Otherwise, well, you would have a, little, a few more pounds well, on no, you. Well, no, but, you know, but you, you, can, you can eat well and still work out. <laughs> I mean, you're a pro. You got it. Thank you. Right. You have a date next year. All right. In the kitchen. Yeah. Hey, you want to do a cooking show? Oh, absolutely. You tell me your favorite dish and anything you want to learn how to cook, and I'll show you how to cook. Well, it's not so much it's a, a, anything is a favorite dish, but it's it's I think a lot of people want to know how do you cook something that number one tastes good. Yes. Because you know, no matter what people say about health and nutrition and variety of things, yeah. they want it to taste good, and then something that is convenient and easy to make and fast and fast for people who work yeah. and for people who just don't have enough time and you put it out there and it's a good presentation. I think there's a way that we can get consumers, they go into the store and they can buy product that's already chopped, it's already that's, there that's beca beca because if, if they can't shop for fresh food every day, there are still some frozen food products that are there that are fresh and still maintain all their nutrients and you don't have to chop them up, they're pre-chopped. You can mix them, put them together, they've got the flavor, they've got the nutrition and boom, it's ready. Nothing wrong with the frozen food, something that's even fresher than the fresh. Yes. Yeah. Moving down the aisle here, we have David Clark, Dr. Clark, well-known cardiologist. Also, board member on the Monterey Peninsula Foundation, Foundation. that runs the at and Would you like to say anything, Dr. Clark? No, I'd just like to say that I'm sitting between my former partner and his partner this year. So, I don't, uh, I don't get to play this year. I'm on the injured reserve, but I'll get it back. <laughs> But you want, to, you want to talk to Jim, he's a great golfer. Sitting next to Dave is Jim Furyk, who knows how to hit a golf ball. You want to say anything, Jim? What are you saying? How about if I said no? I probably couldn't do that, right? Oh, I have to time, say something. Bill, <laughs> Anyway, his parents are here. Parents are here, actually. They've never been to an AT&T. So, really? uh, and oh, uh, honored. And we came to this restaurant because I asked a great friend of mine where we should go to dinner, and it was actually you, and you said Thank we should you. come here. <laughs> So, Thank you. That's, that's, that's why we're here. But uh, we're having a great meal and having a good time. And uh, looking forward to another good week. Hopefully it doesn't rain. You need to win. This is going to be your year to win the at and Every year. Is that, is that, every year that, should be our year, but it doesn't, it doesn't work that way. Well, it's so much no, fun it's to not, have no, you no. here. It's great to be here. I've had some uh, wonderful partners. I've enjoyed uh, playing with Dave. I've had uh, Lynn Swan, Charles Schwab, kind of a... Uh, I've had three uh, wonderful, wonderful people to play with, and uh, it's what keeps me coming back, actually, because the, the place is beautiful, the, the food, the uh, the restaurants you can visit are great, Tabitha and I both love coming, but you're on the golf course for six hours a day, the rounds aren't quick. If you don't enjoy the people you're with, it's not any fun, and I've, I've had a great time with the people. Well, we love having you here. You are just a true gentleman, a wonderful, Thank you. Appreciate wonderful person to have here. But to my left, I have a beautiful young doctor, Dr. Lindsay Clark, who always caddies for her dad in the at and and this year is taking a little time off. Yeah, sad to say I won't be caddying this year, but next year I'm going to be back in there, back in the saddle. 
All right. Yeah. Okay. And sitting next to Lindsay is Erica Lockridge, who is doing a very new, exciting movie here in Carmel called Carmel. You want to Carmel? say anything about your movie? Mm, great story about art forgery. And we have a terrific cast, Lauren Bacall, Hayden Penichere, Dina Eastwood, Scott Eastwood, um, Alfred Molina. So it's, it's a fun movie, exciting. Thank you. Thanks for coming tonight. Thank you. Okay. And next to Erica is one of the best contracting builders in Northern California, Tony Brendis. Came down from San Jose to join us. Well, thank you. Oh, did I mention he's my younger brother? <laughs> thank you very much. You can sit down and relax now. Okay, thank you. Make yourself at home. Thank you. So tell us how you prepared all this food for us. Yes, it's really delicious. And Actually, you prepared. I had no idea you were so gifted in so many ways. Would you like to introduce your you lovely, the lovely lady to your life? Sure, this is Sunia. Hi, Sunia. Hi, <laughs> thank you so much for feeding me amazing food. It feels like hours now that we've been eating. Well, that's because of that. Yeah. Hours that we've been eating. <laughs> that's not a coincidence. But who's counting? Yeah, everybody goes like this to the microphone. Yeah, so, uh, hi. Hello, testing, one, two, three. Hello, yeah, yeah, this food. Oh, yes. Put the, and what would you like to say? <laughs> because he's still, just, just a word. We love being cooked for everyone. And we're enjoying ourselves very much here. It's very nice. Michael has overstepped his welcome. <laughs> Moving along. Thank you, sweetheart. Thanks. Thank the great chef for us. Though. I will. I will. Thank it was a lot of fun. We're going to. Ha we have one more couple we need to visit with. This beautiful, exciting couple, <laughs> Vicky and Greg Jameson. Greg is the. Tell me, correct me if I'm wrong. President and CEO of the San Jose Sharks yes. and Arena, San Jose Arena. Uh -huh. But this is the real power <laughs> behind the Sharks team. She makes Greg choose only Shark players that look fabulous. That's so true. Fabulous. Anything you'd like to add? No, you're absolutely right. She's the power. She's in control. As long as I stay on the straight and narrow, we're doing well. So, Thank you. And we're very pleased. You are doing well. And the food is great tonight. So, it's yeah. And I can't imagine anyone that isn't a Sharks fan, but you have done a wonderful job with that team. Oh, thank you. Oh, sure. We're very excited. Yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Let me see what's going to be like on Jupiter and Mars. Again, Michael, it's real. Oh, it's always, always a pleasure. Always you're, a pleasure. You're the best. You, uh, you're you the best. are too. And don't forget, buy his, his beautiful CDs and his music. Let's go to his shows. It's, He's, he's play the music. A gentleman. And eat all of John's food yeah, while you're playing my music. But he's, That's basically what I can't thank you. I really can't. My pleasure. Always a pleasure. Okay. See you soon. Thank you, folks. See you next time.